Hello, welcome in this new video. So today we are the 16th of Mars. So in two days it will be the full moon in Virgo, in the sign of Virgo, in the 18th of Mars. And I uh, wanted to do a little uh, reading, channeling, maybe that language or so in the end of the video to check the energy of this full moon and to make the best of it. So I have not prepared anything, so I'm just gonna channel uh, everything with you. Um, but I've been feeling the energy of this full moon um, quite strong this last week and this week. And it really feels like it is the right time to to like clear your energy, really clearing your aura and um, purify, I don't know, with sage or with reiki or whatever, light language. Um, really uh, going in your deep in your practice, your spiritual practice and you clearing and clearing some karma. It feels like there is karmic energy that wants to be uh, cleared. So let's see about this. In this room, about clearing. There is something about this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Actually, there is a few things. So I have the Tree of Wands here. I have the Six of Swords and the Ten of Wands. Came also the Fool and the Magician. So Tree of Wands here. It's like you want to clear the um, the way so that it can be easy for you to to reach your goal in the future. It's like it's like you're um, putting order in your stuff. You're you're like checking things for for what you want to manifest or what it is your goal or how you want to. Um, build your future can happen the way you want it. So I see this garden uh, light, this garden energy coming to help you clear that energy. And it can be also karma because our karmic blockage can also block our manifestation. So it can be that. It's also to have a clear um, vision of hold the step, uh, hold the things you want to do in the near future, how you want to do it, you need to make, uh, to know exactly how to do it, maybe not exactly, but you want to have a clear vision of how things are gonna be, so that you can have a clear plan, uh, that you can know, to have a strategy kind of not not a automatically clear strategy, but you want to clear your energy, you want to clear the way to what you want to manifest or the things that you want to do. And this six of swords. Yeah, so we don't know everything. We don't know we don't know exactly how the future is gonna be. But you want to make sure that um, you have what you need. So you need to do and uh, you need to do every day with what you already have. So to be conscious of what you have already and use your resources in the right way. So it feels like this Virgo full moon is a lot about uh, clearing, clearing any everything that is about clearing. 
in order to bring more light, in order to bring more clarity, in order to um, prepare yourself for the future, the next step. So it is everything also to do with your home, that you want to feel good in your home, wants to feel um, comfortable, so you're gonna maybe clear your home, you're gonna maybe clean your home, reorganize your home, um, I don't know, clear your pets. You want to create a good environment for you to find peace in yourself and to be able to do the activities that you want to do at home so that it feels more uh, natural and relaxed. I had also the Ten of Wands. So there is, I feel like tired, that you feel tired, or some of you feel very tired. Like it's been so much in your head and you need to really put that out. So you need to find a way to feel center and home in yourself, into your body, in your own template. And it is about uh, stopping to listen to everything that you hear, to people telling you what to do and try to feel what you need. Okay, well, but I feel like there's something to do with the weather. So maybe some of you are in the part of the world where the weather is really bad at the moment. And it's kind of... Um, I don't know, it's like it makes it, everything difficult and sad. I don't know, if you resonate with this specific message, write in the comments what it is all about. There is something with life being difficult, but it, it, it seems like it is to be with the weather. I don't know if it's too dry or too wet or what it is exactly, but there is, there is something. There is something that makes it uh, difficult. We had also the fall. So it's part of your journey. So what are you going to do right now in your journey? So you need to know that you are precisely where you need to be right now. And you need to do the best of the situation, no matter which situation you're in, to honor yourself, honor your path, accept the challenge that are coming for you. And I say for you because it's for you to try to learn something instead of, tr of uh, feeling uh, like a victim of what is happening. Try to empower yourself. It feels also very practical, like doing the things that are practical, doing the things that you feel you need to do. And um, you could feel very active with this full moon. Or the, or the contrary, so you could feel very active and like you want to do all kind of thing and I don't know, re move your home, change the decoration, anything. Or it could be that you have really a lot in your head and you feel like you cannot do anything, you feel completely blocked. And if it is the case and you need to, to put yourself like in a cocoon, like really meditate, come back home to yourself and stop listening to everything. You need to, it's like you have bad uh, negative attachment, you need to clear that. And I recommend you to watch some of my videos that are for clearing energy or protection, you could watch this, uh, that could help you. It's also everything that has to be with uh, beauty. I feel that um, you need to surround yourself with, uh, I want to say beautiful things, but it's not automatically things. It can just be a beautiful environment, it can just be beautiful flowers, plants, perfume, it can be going out in nature, seeing flowers, seeing the, 
there is, you need to see something beautiful. There's a sense of beauty, or you need to, I don't know, if you're, uh, if you want to have makeup, or if you want to have new clothes, there is something about um, beauty and art, and express your heart, expression of beauty, and feeling good with your your own sense of beauty. Appreciating the beauty, appreciating what is around you. Sharing also, there is idea of sharing that is strong. And I had a magician. So that is also your capacity to breed your life or breed a project with what you already have and discover also your own um, qualities. Maybe you want to begin a new project, there is something new and you, you're going to discover new qualities in yourself that you did not expect. It. Maybe there's a new gift that wants to be revealed to you. Okay, no matter what you are doing or what you want to do, if you have a goal, something that you want to manifest, don't forget to appreciate the present moment. Don't forget in that uh, I, I see um, I see a, a, um, you know the wine uh, grape and it's really about uh, enjoy eating the fruit, enjoy um, enjoy the sweetness of life. Um, enjoying life, enjoying each minute of it, enjoying the journey, being thankful for everything that you experience, being thankful for seeing the sun in the morning, being thankful for the little wind in the when you go out, being thankful for, I don't know, the butterflies, whatever, something, being thankful for what you experience, what you learn from it, what your soul came to learn here, being thankful for the lesson. Okay, I'm gonna take the Gaia Oracle. I really like this oracle. Take it quite a lot these last days. Also for my personal um, readings. <laughs> okay, this one. Thinking of you, a loving thought. Serendipity. I don't know how you say that. Anyway, this card. The sun. That beautiful sun. This energy I feel. The energy of the cosmos. Feel the cosmos, they feel the ray of light, feel the love coming. This makes me think the, the solar flare, the energy of the solar flare are really, really strong today today and in the last days and in the coming days. It's coming on her very, very strong. It's going to really much activate our planet and activate us. It feels like it's, feel it like it is the cosmos embracing you. This is the cosmos giving you energy, giving you love, awakening the divine soul inside of you. Really feel it like that, like it's honoring you. Anchor that energy, that beautiful light that you have. Anchor it on earth. Make your root inside earth. Connect. Really connect with everything around you, with the cosmos, everything. Connect and really receive the codes. This is given to you. This is a gift. That connection in the present moment, the connection is both in the present and in all other timeline, in all space and time. When the energy is up, you have this um, opportunity to connect with higher version of you, and you can receive codes, light codes, activations, informations, 
you can move the timeline so that you can go in the higher timeline and help humanity to move in the higher timelines. There is also this idea of uh, helping each other. It is so beautiful. Really feel that fire energy that really illuminates and at the same time it's really burning the old energy, burning everything that it can, that is no longer uh, good for us. I see also Mother Earth, or planet, receiving the energy. I think there is an equinox now, I feel like an energy of an equinox. Must be an equinox soon. Uh, it feels like the energy is coming with the sun to give life to the plant. It's like the plant are gonna grow, it's a part for plant to grow. Must be spring equinox or something like that. Um, actually, I need to check that. It really feels like, uh, like the earth is really gonna receive a lot of energy to grow. Uh, when it grow plants, when is this energy to grow plant with equinox and um, it's also an energy that we can use to grow, to grow our own project, to grow ourselves. So it's also an energy that we can receive. We're not plants, but we can receive the energy. I see the energy of a goddess also. It feels like it's an Asiatic, uh, Asiatic vibes. Asiatic goddess could be Kuan Yin, but I'm not 100% sure. Could be Kuan Yin. It's a very loving energy. I think this is the energy of Kuan Yin that is coming back, or coming very strong right now. So Kuan Yin is a goddess, um, I think it's Buddhic. Goddess, um, it's, it's like uh, it's like Mother Mary in the Buddhist uh, tradition. She's a um, feminine energy, mothering energy. She's a lot about compassion. Okay, she's talking about opening the eye, the third eye. We're connecting with parts of you that have been a uh, very long time in the dark. She's talking about karma. She's talking about a uh, past version of you that have been, um, that you have not yet discovered, that wants to, to be healed, that wants to come up, that you need to heal. Some of you are going to be more conscious about some past life events that you need to clear. There is also ancestral, we talk also about ancestral karma. There is ancestral karma that come, come back that needs to be cleared. And she said to walk in a new energy, in a new earth, you, you first need to heal the old parts of you, to heal what needs to be healed first, so that this kind of like the space is clear to for the new to, to come and encode. Yeah, she's I feel like I'm gonna do like language with Kuan Yin. There is her energy very strong and she she wants that also. Just gonna take one more card here. Okay, this one. Whew. Okay. We have interesting cards. We have Ganesh. Clearing away obstacles, protection, guidance. We're really much into this uh, Asiatic um, god and goddesses. Ganesh here. It's funny because today I um, I bought a, a Ganesh uh, pendant. It's not really Ganesh, it's an elephant. 
and uh, my intention is to to do um, to create a mala with uh, red jasper and uh, the gan. The, um, I wanted the energy of Ganesh, and I, I found this elephant in um, uh, what is it? Iron something. Mm metal something it's in metal it's a uh, it's an elephant head and i was thinking directly oh it's ganesh i want it and so now it's ganesh coming <laughs> so it's, it's incredible okay just what what ganesh wants to say to us i feel this energy of luck giving you luck some people are gonna be lucky with this energy with this full moon it's luck, it is success, it is something that you were, were not sure it's going to work out, it's going to finally work hard. And you can ask Ganesh to protect you and guide you um, inside a situation or a project. Ganesh is saying you can also help you to be in touch with your yourself and hidden parts of you so that could also help with uh, the work with Kuan Yin in fact Ganesh is uh, is not afraid to go in the shadow in your shadow and uh, and protect protect you when you're doing the shadow work when you're when you want to um, to clear the the blockages so it's it's a good ally so think about Ganesh the other card that came was a hidden gift. And it's right and sadness and ending a new beginning. So what it is about that, an hidden gift? Okay, some of you are in this situation where you lose something or you lose someone or something is not working as you want. But the the guides are actually saying it is it is a blessing behind uh, behind that there is a blessing so it's not all dark or all light it's not all black or all white it's gray <laughs> there are other shades and it is actually um, a step a step in your journey where you will learn something or experience something better than what you expected. So try to develop your third eye, try to develop your higher consciousness, your soul star chakra, your crown chakra energy. Try to develop higher vision, your higher um, your more objective vision, your higher vision, your soul, higher self vision, so that you can see the blessings that are disguised behind uh, the the bad things that seems to happen. Yeah, interesting. Uh, I'm gonna talk Archangel Michael Oracle cards quickly if I can yeah I got everything okay we continue this one lean on God and the angels for support mm. I heard you receiving when you're giving. So giving, what does it mean with giving? Giving prayers, helping. Okay, this is about uh, acting with your heart. It means speaking your truth. It means doing the things that you, that you know in your heart you need to do. It means listening to your heart. Really embodying, um, it's really embodying your higher self in some way. It's really being 100% you. And when you do that, you're in touch with your guide, you're in touch with your angels, and you receive help because you really respect yourself, your higher self, your presence. Uh, 
I see light cuts coming down in your crown chakra. You're receiving energy. You're elevating yourself. You need to be you for that. No one else can do the work for you. Detach from the situation. So maybe you're too much thinking about something. You take things too seriously. You need to detach. You need to have this higher vision as I was talking. Try to take some distance. If you're too much into something and you give too much energy into something, especially if it's a difficult situation, you also amplify the difficulty and you amplify the energy and you make it even more bigger and even more difficult and uncomfortable. So at the moment you also need to relax, you also need to laugh and have some humor. You need to breathe, think about breathing and meditating. Think about receiving, not just uh, breathing walls around you to protect yourself. Think about receiving. Not everything is all dark out there. There is actually a lot of love, a lot of light that is also available. Okay, it was always this card. I got admit the truth to yourself and act accordingly. That really makes me think of what I just said before, which is about being you 100%. Admire the truth to yourself. Look with your third eye. Look with your higher consciousness. Look with the eyes of your higher self. And this is completely different than looking with your mind, looking with your mental and listening what everyone is saying for you. Uh, act accordingly on what you know, what you feel. Okay. It's also, okay, they're saying it's also a lot being touched with your feminine energy, your feminine side. Because it's that feminine energy that go inside to search the response, to get messages, to get knowledge. You see, this feminine side needs also to be unlocked, that needs to be awake. So let yourself feel inside what you need, what's your truth. Give it a chance. Don't get stuck on the external or who it's gonna look, of what uh, people are gonna think about you. Think for yourself, for yourself. Meditate. Recenter, embody your eyes self, embody your own essence. Okay, now it's time for a light language activation. I feel like Kuan Yin is around and she wants to give some calls, so we're gonna do that if you want. So just relax and open yourself to receive the energy. Lea kiera shatta ya kiara eta ya shua kiera ata ya sakiara yeshana ya kiara ite ya shakala ya kola ya sha ya tera te ya nyukara yeshetara kiara u shakera ata yushana ha kiera ata yuha ya kiara asha ya kiela se na ye kiena shate ya kiara u shaketara ye kiacha Nua la ye kiera esheta, yo e kiena sha ye te a kiara eshe ya kiara. Whose God will help you to see more clearly into the situation. Ye shake tare a kiacha da tara kia, elo a shana ye kiara eshe ya kiera a shate ya kiera. Also to have to see with more love, to be more with compassion. 
Nara Ishikara ataya shikara akira te shikara ite akia shatera kira ta kishera. You receive us a lot of God in the higher chakra and the heart chakra. No asha ikira ishita kare te kishera ata ikira. Shinaya kiana shakara itaya kishera. Yete yoko shataya kara. Naha ya o mocho a kaita ke shetaya da ka. Te hana o karaita ke shetara ya kiana o she na ke la ya taia. E she ko la ya ta. Ka sa na ha shaya. To ko na ha shai te ra ke kara shataya kiara. Se kara a te ya shatara. Ke na ya o shaya kiara eta. Ke se na ha shakara eta. O shukaya eta ke ke shata he kara kya sha. Shukaya hata kira te yaka, shukara yaka yushari te ikina shaya hu sharata. Let go of the old energies, old versions of you. Let clear that air. Let comes a new. Let yourself connect with your higher self. Ishaya kana te ya shatara ke na shate ya kula ishaya na halai ke ya shale te ya kiara shataya ke atara na haya kiara shana ya ke na shataya. E io sciocca la teia cola nene sciai che ne asciocata. E la yaka ya sciai teia chiana sciai te che ya sciai tora chiana. E quinta la sciai cola ya sciai tagli chiana sciai cola te che no. Che brings a path for you. She's sending a lot of love to you. She wants you to know that she loves you. That she is there for you when you ask her. She can help you to awake your heart, your sensibility. To work also to help you have a positive mindset. It's most like she could help you to have a, with your affirmation. If you do affirmation every day, to have a really more positive mindset. To help you hold your energy, hold your light. you enlighten uh, this code right now are for your Tura Chakra. Shikatea Tukonaishitara kya Ashua kya la tea koshua tea tara kya shitara kya wa te kara shakra. Bring your new energy. As 
Really some karma clearing also in this transmission. She said, I will, hold, I will hold the life for you. I will help you hold the light. There is no darkness that I'm afraid. This is her words. She talk about the importance of feeling serene in yourself, peaceful to feel also your energy in your body, to feel your your key or your she. Feel your vital energy. Feeling your connection with the cosmos, with the stars. Appreciate where you are at in this moment. She says she can also help you. I encourage you if you're not um, satisfied with where you are now to find a new path that is better for you, that is more aligned with your heart. Knowing that you're always supported and never alone. There is already guys surrounding you. Even when you can't see it. She wants you to be aware of the beauty of your soul. beauty of nature and I'm seeing these animals um don't know how it's called you know those bumpy <laughs> animals very cute um yeah It's about focusing on the beauty, focusing on exploring what is beautiful, what is full of light. Integrating the light. Supporting the light. Supporting life, supporting earth. Supporting the amplification of light extension of light and awareness in our world.
end of this journaling transmission and reading. So it's a long video, but um, I hope you like it and I wish you a happy full moon and I see you soon. Goodbye.